ಐ ಹಲೋ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಜಿಯಾಗ್ರಫಿ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟು ಲಿಥೋಸ್ಪಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಿಥೋಸ್ಪಿಯರ್ ಅರ್ಥ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟೀರಿಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ for the main three layers like the crust the mantle the core these are the very important information we are discussed let's come to the in this session we are going to get the more information rocks rocks are the solid inorganic substances that are found in the crust of the earth so that is rocks are found in the crust the first surface of the layers of the earth they are solid inorganic substances they are aggregates of minerals naturally rocks are formed due to various natural processes how the rocks are going to be formed due to various natural processes so you can see you uh, some of the very important pictures of different rocks on the basis of mode of formation rocks are mainly classified into three types they are igneous rocks sedimentary rocks metamorphic rocks these are the different types of rocks are the classification of three types of rocks so let's come to the one by one we are going to get more information among that the first one igneous rocks the word igneous means fire that means derived from the latin word name called as ignis or the sanskrit word name called as agni igneous rocks those which have been formed by the cooling of molten matter of the earth you know about that what is the meaning of the molten the semi liquid state is called as the molten matter of the earth you can see the pictures how the formation of the different types of rocks igneous rocks were the first to be formed therefore they are also called as primary rocks igneous rocks are also called as primary rocks there are two types of igneous rocks majorly intrusive rocks extrusive igneous rocks so what are these how they are going to be formed among that first one intrusive intrusive that means when the molten materials nothing but magma of the earth's interior do not reach the earth's surface the magma it cannot be reach the surface so here the magma through this chamber it cannot be reach the earth's surface they cool and solidify quietly slowly below the surface are called loss of property and called intrusive igneous rocks inside the earth only it is going to be formed these rocks are made of large crystals and are found at great depth inside the earth some of the very important intrusive rocks like granite gabbro diorite are the very important examples you can see the pictures of intrusive rocks like granite gabbro and diorite are the examples for the igneous rocks among that intrusive rocks let's come to the which are extrusive igneous rocks how they are going to be formed rocks formed by solidification of magma above the earth's surface are called 
extrusive igneous rocks whereas intrusive they will be formed inside the earth extrusive they formed outside the surface of the earth so that they are called as extrusive igneous rocks these rocks are generally fine grained or glassy because lava after reaching the surface of the earth cools and solidifies quickly because of the atmosphere so examples for the extrusive rocks are basalt rocks andesite rocks are the best examples for the extrusive igneous rocks so this is about the two types of igneous rocks called as intrusive igneous rocks and extrusive igneous rocks let's come to the sedimentary rocks so what are sedimentary rocks how they are going to be formed the word sedimentary is derived from a latin word name called as sedimentum which means settling down sedimentum derived from the latin word name called as sedimentum the meaning of sedimentum is settling down sedimentary rocks are formed by the agency of water wind and ice sedimentary rocks are formed by the agency of water wind and ice these agents break and erod the igneous rocks transport those broken fragments and deposit them at certain places you can see the picture so this kind of rocks in generally are also considered as the igneous rocks they will be formed or erod or break with the agents of water wind and ice and they will be deposit them in a certain places the deposit of these materials often occurs in the form of layers or strata layers or strata therefore sedimentary rocks are called as stratified rocks sedimentary rocks are also called as stratified rocks the sedimentary rocks are formed after the disintegration of igneous rocks so sedimentary rocks are formed after the disintegration of igneous rocks therefore they are also called as secondary rocks sedimentary rocks are also called as secondary rocks as well as stratified rocks these rocks are also called as aqueous rocks because they are formed in the water bodies like lake sea and ocean beds that is the reason sedimentary rocks are also called as aqueous rocks so sedimentary rocks are classified into two types they are inorganic sedimentary rocks organic sedimentary rocks inorganic sedimentary rocks are formed by mechanically formed chemically formed so let's come to the how inorganic materials are formed mechanically and chemically whereas organic sedimentary rocks like organic sedimentary rocks are formed by calcareous rocks and next carbonaceous rocks organic sedimentary rocks are formed by calcareous rocks and carbonaceous rocks so let's come to the both inorganic sedimentary and organic sedimentary rocks how they are formed we are going to get more information so here uh, the sedimentary rocks among that mechanically formed sedimentary rocks rocks built up by fragments of pre existing rocks which have been produced by the process of weathering and erosion example like 
sandstone you can see here this is an example for sandstone also called as arenaceous rocks sandstone is an example for arenaceous rocks formed by mechanically and one more shale shale is an example example for argillaceous rocks are example for shale mechanically formed sedimentary rocks and next move on to chemically formed sedimentary rocks like chemical segments are commonly formed by the process of evaporation of water containing salt in solution example like rock salt you can see here picture it is an example for rock salt and another one gypsum here it is an example for the gypsum so both are formed by chemically the process of evaporation of water containing the salts in solution examples for chemically formed sedimentary rocks and the next organically formed sedimentary rocks how organically rocks are formed organic sediments are those derived by the accumulation of remains of organisms such as shells of marine organisms remains of plants and animals example like limestone it is called as calcareous rocks limestone it is an example for calcareous rocks whereas coal is an example for carbonaceous rocks so here it is limestone you can see in the picture coal you can see in the picture limestone it is called as calcareous rocks whereas carbon is uh, coal is called as carbonaceous rocks so this is an example for organically formed sedimentary rocks and the next move on to third one the type of rocks it is called as metamorphic rocks metamorphic rocks are those which are formed by the process of metamorphism or alteration of pre existing rocks metamorphic rocks are which are formed by the process of, process of metamorphism or alteration of pre existing rocks here metamorphism means change of form which may be physical or chemical or both by the influence of heat and pressure so example like granite formed by gneiss sandstone it is formed by quartzite basalt it is an formed by schist coal it is an formed by graphite limestone it is formed by marble and even graphite it is formed by diamond like this metamorphic rocks are the hardest rocks on the earth when compared to igneous rocks and sedimentary rocks these rocks supply precious stones like sapphire ruby and emerald and diamonds etc such a um, precious stones will be providing by metamorphic rocks so that's it about the rocks in this session we get the information about the classification three types of rocks like igneous rocks sedimentary rocks metamorphic rocks and types of igneous rocks like intrusive igneous rocks and extrusive igneous rocks and next sedimentary rocks they are classified into as a inorganic and organic sedimentary rocks then how mechanically formed sedimentary rocks chemically formed sedimentary rocks and organically formed sedimentary rocks even the information about metamorphic rocks i hope you have understood till now what we are discussed in case of if you having any doubts related to till now what we are discussed you can comment in the comment box i will solve your doubts i will come back with the next session until keep watching my channel thank you have a nice day see you in the next session take care bye bye